Good morning, everybody. I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. It is Saturday, April 3rd. We have another What's Old video for you today. So we're going to go ahead and start following Kathy around to see what's sold. Hey, guys. I have my sticky today because <laughs> yesterday it just seemed like it was all over the place. It did feel unnatural, huh? Yeah, so I don't know. It probably would get better with time, but I don't know. I... I like my sticky. So. <laughs> All right, let's start with eBay sales. So box AS here. So I just listed these last night. They're the Bionic slippers we got on our um, Omaha vacation. I did pay $6.99 for those, but they sold for $35.56 plus shipping in one day. Um, and I didn't have to grass post them. And you can see we did get, mm -hmm. well, Kathy got the table cleared off. We've been clear. trying to use these. So the bet those yeah, IKEA bags to like one bags all shoes any yeah. photograph that's all random like hard good type stuff so that'll be like the shoes can be like one day work the next yeah. day can be the other stuff all right so A O there are some Oakley swim trunks um, I got these at a local thrift for three fifty. Normally I'd sell these for about 25 free ship or like 20 plus ship, but when I got them home, I realized they had some like loose stitching here and there. So I listed them a little lower and sent an offer of 1687 free ship. So I still like three times my money, but <laughs> yeah, miss those flaws. That happens more often than it should. Well, it happens anytime you're doing any kind of volume. You're you're bound to miss something. I look at I look at everything over before I even leave a store, but it still happens all the time. Yeah, lighting is different. <laughs> it's almost like it's intentional, right? They have bad lighting there, so that... I do feel like that sometimes. <laughs> uh, these are some Echo Mary Jane shoes. So I paid more than I'd like to for Echo. I guess I paid nine ninety nine for these, but I sold the same pair before and they sold really fast, like this style. So. I felt like it was okay. And I listed them, I think, for 30 plus ship. We had a sale running, and then I sent an additional offer, so 25 plus ship. That's what someone bought those for. All right, and then AC. Some youth size Keen, the unique sandals. I got these at Once Upon a Child. I have $5.20 into them. That's the 20% off price of. They priced these at six fifty, dollars so um, yeah, I paid five twenty, dollars sold them for $22.21 plus shipping. And then box of G. Okay, these are my son's shoes. I got off Kid is in for $25 and sold them on eBay for $26.65 plus ship. I think I lost a buck or two after all the shipping and fees, but we got some wear out of those. And CM. Where is CM though? Just had to be in the way again. All right. These little Nikes were from my Bin Stimulus Check Challenge. Um, so I only have about a dollar into them. They sold for $16.87 plus shipping. And we're not done with that. I know we keep saying, <laughs> I'm going to go to Denver, I'm going to go to Denver, but I really am soon, hopefully. Maybe next week, maybe, maybe not next week because of JBF, but. Yeah. Hopefully by the end of and April, JBF is a big should... culprit as to why we haven't been able to, right? We've been. Yeah, I'm just like everything. <laughs> <laughs> Every it's, this has know. been a very just like the school keeps busy, opening yeah. and closing and stuff too. Just everything. <laughs> All right, and then CS. I did almost hit two thousand dollars profit on what I have for the bin so far, though. I noticed that this morning when I was doing my numbers. This is another one I listed just last night. Uh, the brand is Barber, which I haven't sold before. I know it retails for a lot. I only bought these because they were $5 at Goodwill. And, yeah, <laughs> I didn't really know what to expect. I did look up comps in the store and wasn't finding much of anything. So last night, I listed them for $39.95 plus ship. Got a watcher right away, so I probably should have just left the price. But I always like to send an offer. So $35 plus ship is what they sold for in one day. In one hour, really. <laughs> All right, and then BT. Here. All right, this was not a good sale. These are some really old school, like, dance ghost strappy sandals. I bought these almost three years ago now, and 
I've sold a few other pairs of these, but this one just kept sitting, sitting, sitting. I've been dropping the price low, low, low. I think it was down to like 10 bucks, and then I got a watcher, and I sent them an offer of eight plus shipping, so I paid $5.99 for those three years ago, so I think I lost like three cents after all is said and done, but I will take my $5.99 back and put it into something else. That's not including all the time that we had oh, yeah. <laughs> invested Definitely in it, I guess, at this point. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then the kid is in sale was these little Jordans. These were like in perfect condition. So once upon a child has these priced at four fifty, I had a twenty percent off, so I paid three sixty for them. Sold them for nineteen plus shipping on kid is in. Mercari box AQ. These are some Skechers, just flats. I also got these from the Stimulus Check Challenge from the bins, and they sold for $20 plus shipping. So a dollar and a 20 plus shipping. And then AL. Behind you. <laughs> I need a coffee. <laughs> these are, so I really like these, um, and I've sold a pair similar before. They're just born, but they're like this cool wool. Aztec southwestern type pattern so that kind of stuff just always does well no matter what the brand is and these I I think these were only priced at eight dollars but I averaged my cost of goods this day so it came out to like eleven ninety three after taxes I listed them I think I started on at 40 let them price drop down to like 32 and then someone offered me 26 today so I accepted I'm still doubling my money even Considering the cost of goods was eleven ninety three, they sold in like two weeks, so that's good enough for me. Right, and then box, not box, but that was it for Mercari. The mm. last few are posh, so see why. That's V. You're in the wrong box. Oh, C V. <laughs> I was like, they're not in there. I thought something was wrong. I was like, I don't feel like CY is over here. Yeah, <laughs> okay. What are you doing, Reese? That makes sense. Uh, so these were something I bought for my son. I don't know if he ever got to wear them, but they're the super cutest little vans. If he did wear them, he wore them once. I bought them off Kittizen for 15 sold them on Posh for 28 That was an offer I accepted. All right. And then this last sale was to a viewer, Christina, who's bought from us a few times. And I feel so bad because... So she made a bundle, sent me an offer. We slept in today, so like I woke up at nine, saw her offer, had a weird feeling that I like, one of the items she bundled was like a little Cat and Jack, the cutest little sea monster romper thing. And I just knew I hadn't seen it in a while. And I don't know. So I just like didn't accept her offer right away. And we have JBF coming up on Monday anyway, so we have to organize all of our stuff. So I'll show you that in a second, but I was like, well, let me go through that really fast before I either accept or mm -hmm. tell her, you know, I don't have that. But then she bought the thing full price. So I feel bad for that anyways, because she probably thought like I was ignoring her offer, right. which I wasn't. I'm sorry. I took a long time to respond. I wanted to either see if I had it or didn't. Before it, ended, it ended up taking us a lot longer looking yeah. for everything than we <laughs> so thought. We, we kind of got in this rabbit hole. from our trailer, which that's what we were going to do this weekend. Yeah. Anyway. So it actually was like a good jump start on that. So... If Chris wants to show you yeah. our living room at the moment, this is kind of what we're dealing with. <laughs> so? So I pulled all the bins out from our trailer. Um, I used my little Z-Rack thingy to kind of organize everything. It looks worse than it is. Most stuff is fairly organized, but yeah. yeah. I pulled every single clothing bin and hung them and then reorganized them and it was not in there either. <laughs> it's not in my Google spreadsheet for being in one of these boxes. So I don't know where it is. I don't know why it was still listed. I feel like it went to JBF. I don't know if I sold it at a previous JBF and just didn't delete it. I don't really know what happened. So yeah. very sorry about that, Christina. But anyway, so I had to cancel her order and then we rebundled the other four items, which we'll pull here. And I sent her an offer of 55 with discounted shipping. And so, while we're on the subject, I just kind of wanted to show, we do have out this window here. We have a enclosed trailer that we do keep all of our JBF stuff in in the off season. So that's it. you probably have never seen it all before. So we we keep it all out there and, and then we bring it in whenever this season's going on. Uh, 
excuse me. <laughs> You're as loud as the kittles. <laughs> All right, so she got this CF. This has been listed for so long, and I don't know why I thought it was so cute when I got it. It's just Art Class, which is Target brand, but it's just a Sherpa pullover. I loved it, and I figured if it didn't sell by the time it fit our son, I'd keep it for him. But it did. And then CX. was that gray Nike hoodie that I got from the Ben Stimulus Check Challenge. Um, I think that is one of them's right here. Yeah. She wants to grab this little elephant, the prayer elephant. Am I allowed to push the button or <laughs> is it gonna um, say something that we, it just said now I lay me down to sleep, I think. I don't remember, but she grabbed that. Also came from that same Ben's haul. Yeah, I don't know if that's <laughs> protect under monetization right. rules or not. I don't know. We'll just better off, better safe than sorry, I guess. <laughs> so I think that, everybody recognizes that yeah. song, at least. Uh, so that I had already pulled because I was going to take it to the consignment sale, but she grabbed it. So. Yeah. And this is a peach kid shirt. It's just like a baseball scoreboard t-shirt. And then last thing, oh, that, yeah, that, that, was, that the was the last one. So, yep, she grabbed those four items since we had to cancel the fifth one. So thank you again, Christina. You've yeah. been too good to us. So, <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's it so far today. Um, thank you so much for your support, Christina, your continued support. Yes. <laughs> we appreciate it so much. I don't remember what I was going to say other than that. Part. All right, guys, I'm cutting right back in. We did have one more sale as we were packing up, but we already closed out the video. So this is just going to be spliced in with right after our last sold item. You said it was in BN. Now you're confusing me. I oh. think I said CN. CN? Oh, sorry. But I already deleted it from the spreadsheet. So. Well, you're probably more right than I am. Um, they are just these naturalizer flats. So I almost debated not buying these because they're size four and a half women's which is a very small size. Um, obviously there's some people that are that size, but the likelihood of somebody that size finding these exact shoes on eBay or wherever and wanting them and this color, you know what I mean? It's just yeah. a very low chance. So they were only 250, so I did take the chance. I don't remember what they used. Um, 1776 plus shipping, so not too bad. All right. And I'm putting the label right now. Remember what I was gonna say other than that? I felt like I had something to say, but I, I had know. something to say. Probably <laughs> noticed this pile of boxes in the back here and these Lincoln Logs. Our kids come up here and play Lincoln Logs sometimes. But we uh, we got a bunch of free packing material. We, we decided to, I decided to put a post on our local Facebook neighborhood group um, saying that, hey, we're in the reselling business online and we like to reuse any kind of packing material. Kind of just did like a short little post saying that we, you know, would love to accept theirs instead of them just recycling them or tossing them in the trash or whatever, that we would just swing by and pick them up and actually have one more stop I got to go to this morning. Somebody else reached out this morning who I've actually picked up from before, one of our neighbors, and even more boxes. So we've we've been able to get quite a bit of packing materials, free packing materials from our neighbors and friends and like my mom. My mom gets a lot of stuff on Amazon, so we get she stocks up all of her packages and stuff all her boxes and packing material and that actually goes a long way that kind of stuff um those air pillows and paper all that kind of stuff really does go a long way so if you guys are looking for cheap or maybe free shipping materials and you live in an area with one of those facebook or next door app kind of groups reach out to your neighbors i think a lot of them are more than happy to um help out because it is really helping out i just want to bring that up because we've been kind of processing all those boxes a little bit so was there anything else you want to say uh, do you remember do the board now or yeah we could talk about the board so i did uh finish listing all my shoes i think except these ones because i couldn't figure out the size so i need to figure out that but yeah i did update um, i think we were only at 11 listed yesterday when we did the video so I stayed and got it up to 32 and $1,150 listed. So for the week, then we were at 95 listings, 
3302. So I said I wanted to be over 3000, so we're good. I'd like this to be at least 100, so I'm gonna try to do five listings today. I do have these photographed. I just need to list them and measure them. So that, but JBF is gonna be the most important thing this weekend, which we gotta get that all organized. Yeah, now, you saw the living room. <laughs> you saw it, but it really is more organized than it seems. Yeah. Most of the bins, like I made a shoe bin, girl shoe bin, boy shoe bin. So I just kind of need to, yeah, put those. <laughs> stack them up somewhere else neatly but if you don't know what jbf is we did <laughs> recently do a video on just between friends you can search our recent videos um just kind of showing just what it is and how to sell there and stuff like that so go check that out if you're interested or wanting to know what we're talking about when we say jbf so yeah and then other than that it's pretty much it i have to go get some coffee easter some easter basket oh stuff easter at some point. <laughs> the east, i gotta go be the easter bunny at some point today and yeah. get some stuff because we're a little behind on that so. yeah we're bad parents <laughs> yeah. so we're off to a better well an okay start like we wanted to do 150 didn't happen if i could do 100 i'll be very happy and yeah i think that's about it I'm sure we'll be able to list at least five items. I actually have not even started processing the stuff that I went and sourced the other day. Um, was wanting to do that, but yeah, got caught up this morning helping Kathy pull all that stuff out of the shed or the trailer. And yep, yeah, that's what we've got going on today. It's actually later in the day. Usually we try to get our packages out on Saturdays at 1130, which is when our local, um, we have like a bank that also has a post office in it where we are just a few minutes down the road. That's where we love to go. Our, you know, the ladies that work there know us. They know what we like. They know that we like everything scanned and they're really good at scanning everything and it's never busy there. So we love going there. Um, but they close at 1130 on Saturdays. So we're going to have to go into town into a real post office, which is not always our favorite thing to do, but I'm sure we'll probably go thrift while we're out. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.